Hello everybody, I'm talking to Sweden today with Andreas Moos. Hello. No, Andreas Mo. Yeah, you that's see, right, Mo. I fucked it up in the first second. So, Don't worry. <laughs> the new EP is out since the beginning of September. Yeah. Maybe it's all we dreamed of. Yeah. And the people don't want to hear me talking, so I let you yeah. talk. Just tell us everybody, uh, everything about everything, what's going on. Everything right about everything. Okay, we're going to be here a couple hours. No, but um, yeah, the EP is out. It's called Maybe It's All We Dreamed Of. And uh, it has five songs, including Ocean. And Ocean is an oldie. As, as people know, and uh, it just feels good to finally, you know, finally release these songs. And uh, these are songs that I've been working on for over one and a half a year and just trying to try to make them as good as possible. And, and they've been buried in a, in a computer in a basement for way too long. So it just feels good to kind of release them and give them some air. And, uh, And uh, these are songs that I feel I can really stand tall behind and really, you know, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm very proud of them. So, um, so yeah, it feels good. It feels good to finally get them out there and, and see what people think about them and, you know, hopefully get out there soon enough and, and, uh, and play some live shows as well. Uh, I also think they are the very most favorite songs of, of all of your songs in your catalog. That's why you picked them. Um, yeah, I, I mean, about I, it. Yeah, well, what was different from this time, uh, as opposed to the album, uh, before the rumble comes, uh, is that I, uh, I wrote about 35 songs, um, over a summer and then I narrowed it down to 12 and then I narrowed it down to five and I just felt like, okay, these are the songs and, uh, I just felt that they are songs that I can stand tall behind and that I feel, you know, people always talk about a common thread or, you know, a certain sound throughout an album or an EP. But I've kind of, I don't know, I just felt that the whole industry and the whole business has changed in, in, into a more of a playlist kind of Spotify, you know, business. So uh, I just felt what was important to me, and this is a, a fun way of working as well, that I just felt that I wanted to release songs without thinking too much about a common thread or a certain sound. You know, if I'm into a, if I, if I'm having a soul period or if I'm having a rock period, then I write a lot of rock songs, a lot of soul songs, a lot of pop songs. And why not just, you know, the most important thing is that I feel like I can, as an artist, really stand tall behind the songs and really like, you know, play them live and enjoy them. And I think that comes across when I play the songs live that, You know, the crowd can actually see that I enjoy it. And, uh, you know, hopefully that, that's enough. So, um, so yeah, these are, these are my, my, uh, my five favorite songs at the moment. But then, again, I'm, I'm working on a EP number two right now. So I have another five songs coming that I feel are just as good. So, so I, th yeah. I think Bus Stop is also on this EP. Is that correct? Yeah, that's you correct. You released yeah. this song as a single, as a video, so people can find everything on YouTube. Yeah. And, and also a playlist to this yeah. EP. Yeah, we did a... That was during the John Mayer tour. Uh, we did a... We were listening to a lot of music on the bus, on the tour bus, and I just figured, I want to share with people what I listen to or what we listen to as a band when we're on the bus, you know, after the shows, before the shows on the road, you know, in between gigs. Um, so, yeah, I made a, I created a playlist for people to just to see what we were listening to, what kind of music, you know. And uh, so, yeah, that was fun. Okay, but I, I thought, I think um, maybe a little misunderstanding. Maybe it's all about, ugh, sorry, maybe it's all, a, it's all we dreamed of. My God, today is a terrible day. Has his own <laughs> playlist, so you put all the songs in a playlist with a full video. I was watching it before, right? Is that correct? I don't know. Were you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, can, I can send you the link. <laughs> also, you're saying there's a playlist of a playlist that is called Maybe It's All We Dream Of. I found 
a link in the last press release I got. It's a oh yeah, and it's a EP video trailer, and I played all the songs in full length. Oh okay, from the EP then. Or is it just a private press link? It might be. It might be just for your for your ears no, it, only. It it cannot be because I had thousands of views. So. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. That's more than I know. Uh, <laughs> things have happened behind my back. I never had that before. So we revealed a big secret now. Yeah. <laughs> so we we That's should perfect. check this. Super fun. So I also prepared some um, private questions. Not too private, um, but. One. But before, you know, maybe Twisted Man Mac is also a fashion magazine. Are you interested in fashion or is that something that... No, I am. I am interested. I'm not overly kind of... I'm not really into it. I'm not following the whole, like, the new trends and everything. I, I feel kind of confident in what I'm wearing and what I'm, you know, but I'm, I'm always kind of impressed... I have a lot of friends who are always like into the new stuff and they're always so, first and it's always like, wow, you, okay, you, what kind of shoes are you wearing? And the next week you're seeing everyone wearing them. So, they're yeah. always a step ahead and it always kind of impresses me a lot. Um, but I'm not really, my focus isn't fashion, my focus is music. And Obviously. So you're not genuine, a fashion but victim. But of course I care, like when I buy jeans, I want to buy good jeans, you know, I'm, I want to buy something that kind of, I want to... I want to stick out a little bit. I go to second-hand stores. I buy stuff that I feel, you know, could catch some attention somehow. You know, it's always, it's there somewhere in my brain, but I'm not overly focused on it. So so you're more the yeah. casual guy. Yeah, a li maybe a little bit more towards fashion than the opposite way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next question I always wanted to ask, um, what kind of fashion do you think fits best to your music? <laughs> I love this uh, question, I don't know why, maybe you think it's super stupid, but... No, it's a good question, <laughs> I mean, if Lumberjack, if, if Lumberjack fashion would be, uh, would be considered fashion, if Lumberjack uh, clothes would be considered fashion, that fashion, which I think it is, uh, then probably somewhere in that line, you know, like I'm thinking, you know, an old guy with beard with a, with a hat on and, you know, some lumberjack shirts and with an ax, chopping wood, you know, that so, kind of thing. I think that would suit my music a little bit. So they should <laughs> use your music for their next commercial. Yeah, I'm just, I, I just realized I sounded like the most kind of like the douchebag guy ever. Uh, just talking about men chopping wood, you know. It could be, it could be anyone. It could be women, men, anyone. Just but that kind of, that kind of lane, yeah. Describe your best friend. My best friend. Um, my best friend. His name is Michael, and he lives. We used to live together. Um, he's amazing. He's uh, such a good friend. He's always there for you. He, uh, he. We will live together under the same roof for about four years. And then he, we went through a lot of heartbreaks together. We went through a lot of shit and a lot of good things too, but uh, uh, mostly bad things, I suppose, when I think about it. And then he moved away to Bangkok and he moved away to uh, um, Italy for a while, to Florence, and then he just got back. So yeah, that's Michael, he's amazing. Perfect. Um... For you, the coolest thing online at the moment, a video, a game, a show, a newspaper, website? The coolest thing online at the moment, I would probably say, is a video game called Player Unknown's Battleground. Because uh, I'm a gamer, you know, I play a lot of, I play a lot of uh, computer games, um, a lot of Counter-Strike. I spend too many hours in front of the computer. When I'm not doing music, I'm hanging out with uh, with my girlfriend. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm playing video games. Okay, <laughs> so so yeah, Player Unknown's Battleground is a, is a is a game that that's really cool right now. I'd probably say. Okay, name two or three things you really love, but other people totally hate. Oh wow, that's a that's a good question. Well, 
Video games. Let's start there. Yeah, I think a lot of people hate video games. Yeah. Um, I like a TV show called uh, Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people hate Trailer Park Boys. Um, what else? I like Scotch Smoky Whiskey. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people hate that. Or I know a lot of people dislike or don't like smoky kind of scotch. But I did. This TV show, is it a Swedish show or is it from America? Uh, it's from America. Trailer Park Boys, yeah. It sounds like... Or okay. Canada, it's, Ca it's Canadian. Canadian? Yeah, American. Okay. So let me see. I have to sort a little bit. Um, do you think it's easier to forgive or to forget? It's easier to forgive. Okay. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> Even though it's not easy saying that, I mean, it's it's. I'm I'm a very I'm a very uh, proud person. So, but I'm learning. I'm learning every day. That's one of my kind of. I have to remind myself to be better at that. You know. And do you believe everything happens for a reason? No. No? No, I believe in coincidences and I believe in just weird shit happening all the time. But some things might happen for a reason. I don't know. I don't really believe in destiny or that kind of thing. So I just kind of believe that if you work hard, you will go somewhere. And if you don't, you will still go somewhere, but it will be in a completely different direction, okay. you know. But I believe in, you know, if I open this door right now, or if I wait five minutes, my life will look completely different. You know what I mean? Yes. You so getting, there will be, like, like the movie Sliding Doors. You're getting colder inside the car and get a cold <laughs> yeah. and cannot sing and have to cancel the tour. and <laughs> That might happen. Yeah, that might happen. <laughs> Um, what never fails to make you smile? One thing, one person, one song, whatever. Um, what never fails to make me smile? There is a there is a little there's a little dog uh, that I know. I used to. Uh, um, we used to borrow it sometimes. It's a, uh, I don't know what breed it is, but it's uh, it's my girlfriend's sister's dog, and his name is Michael, like my best friend, and uh, he always puts a smile on my face. It's just it's ridiculous. He's amazing. And all the girls now getting oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true though. I mean, there That's, are some yeah. there are some photos on on my Instagram of that dog, and he's just. He's just the best dog ever. All he ever wants to do is sleep. Uh, he doesn't even want to eat or like go for walks, really. He just wants to sleep and cuddle and just chill. He's the best dog ever. What kind of dog is it? I don't know. It's a that's rescue dog, so they, they don't. Oh, they don't that's really the know, best. Uh, they don't really know what kind of breed it is. It's a rescue dog from Ireland. They found him in a in a container in a, in a little bag, mm. like a plastic bag. So uh, yeah, they rescued him and took him to uh, Sweden, and now That's I get to hang out with him, it's amazing. I always see the videos on Facebook when they rescue dogs and how happy, ah, perfect. Uh, what's a lie you've told more than once? What's a lie that I've told more than once? I'll be there in five minutes, maybe. Yeah, I... <laughs> no, I'm pretty good with times. <laughs> Uh, but um, a lie that I've told is is probably saying like I'm good with saying this is weird. But when someone asks me for like offers me a massage or uh, do you want this or do you want this? Do you want some food? I I always say no when I want to say yes. So that's that's a lie, I suppose. Uh, mm. And I don't know why that is. I just kind of feel really uncomfortable saying yes to kind of a massage and having someone like giving me a back rub. And I'm like, yeah, 
you know, I'm just, it's always like, ah, nah, I'm good, thank you. I'm, 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 I'm good. Okay. So. Uh, what's the weirdest place you've ever slept? Oh. <clears throat> the Come on, as a musician. <laughs> I've, I've, well, the weirdest place I've ever slept would probably be, uh, I slept outside once, um, like on the grass, and that's kind of weird. I can't remember why I did that, but I, 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 I definitely did that. I slept on the grass, uh, but it's not really weird, is it? Like I've, a friend of mine slept under a bridge for a couple of nights. That's pretty weird because he had a home, um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's okay. just go with on the grass. We I, quit this outside. question. <laughs> I spent outside, and that's uh, some people's reality, but it's weird to me because it's not my reality. Uh, yeah, so to me, it's pretty weird. Okay. A, gu a guilty pleasure of yours, you can't seem to quit. Uh, a guilty pleasure of mine that I can't seem to quit. Uh, oh, sorry, one second. Here's my girlfriend. Uh, hey, I'll give the pleasure. Uh, I'll probably say um, some sort of, I don't know, I eat a lot. And, well, again, the video games. Um, I don't know, that kind of thing. Okay. So, <coughs> please complete the next sentence. On stage, you feel... Happy. Happy. Okay. <laughs> uh, when people come to see you, what can they expect from your show? I mean, they can expect, they can expect me being completely there and uh, real and honest. And, uh, you know, they can expect me to give 100% and just kind of, you know, have a good time. Okay. And when all the partying is over, how do you like to chill? Video games? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I like, I like, I just like to hang out with my friends and just kind of, you know, when the adrenaline kind of runs off, uh, the first beer is always the best. Okay. I just go, I just go straight to the fridge for a beer and just kind of sit down on a couch and, and take it easy. Okay. So you're in Sweden right now, but are your roots in Sweden? Yeah. So yeah, I'm based in in uh, in Stockholm, and I've I've lived here for my entire life. Can you give us a, a funny cliche about Swedish people that's actually true? That is actually true. We yes. are we are beautiful here. <laughs> okay. We are we are good looking in Sweden. That's a that's a fact. <laughs> okay, so. That's it. Thank you very much. Now it's time for a little extra promo. Do you go on tour next? Do you release a video next? Do you... Yeah, you said um, something about a new EP. Yeah, there's a new EP coming out in February. But um, there will be a single coming out um, in uh, maybe December. Uh, early January, maybe. Uh But before that, I should be doing some touring or at least a couple of shows here and there in Europe. So stay tuned on my Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and what else are there? Yeah, that's it. And just kind of, you know, see what's happening and you'll, you'll get all the news from there. Okay. And what's the best way to follow you? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? Um, if you want the personal stuff, I would say Instagram because I post a lot about my private life and just kind of you know those kind of photo photos if you want your information then what's that sorry and the cute little dog too oh yeah and the cute li little dog Mikey yeah okay so for a little bit more private Instagram and for all the tour dates and everything Facebook Facebook yeah okay so what's your name on Instagram it's Andreas Mo that simple Yeah, and Facebook is Andreas Mo Music, I think. No, it's Andreas Mo on Facebook. You just type Andreas Mo and you'll find me. I'm sure. Thank you very yeah. much. And now, take care of your girlfriend. I will. You take care. Have a great day. 
Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.